Hi guys, Chris here and in this video I'm going to talk about the shell module in Ansible. In this video I'm briefly going to talk about the differences between the shell module and the command module. I'm also going to execute a shell command against a target machine using environment variables, arguments and a loop. And I'm also briefly going to talk about what shell injection is and how we can avoid that in our Ansible playbooks. Let's just get started. There are multiple ways to execute shell commands on a target machine using Ansible and two of those ways are by making use of either the shell module or the command module. We will now try to execute the same command using those two modules and see what happens. So the f we will create a task called run command with shell module. This will run a shell which echoes out hello shell and it will output into a file in some directory and the file will be called shell file. We will do the exact same thing using the command module. So run command with command module and we will execute a command which echoes out hello command and outputs that into a file in some directory and the file name will be command file. Let's run this playbook and see what actually happens. So we are currently running this playbook against two virtual uh, machines which are Ubuntu machines. We see that the playbook uh, ran successfully so let's take a look on the machines and we see that we are already inside the sum directory and if we do an ls in here we only see the shell file and if we take a look into the shell file it says hello shell. Some would expect to see the command file as well because we execute the same command but that's not the case because there is a difference between the command module and the shell module and this difference is that the command module does not read shell operators in the same way which the shell module does. The command module reads the echo command and everything after that command will escape as a shell command and be parsed as a string. So there are kind of invisible quotes around everything that comes after the echo command which means that this is just run as a string on the target machine. Therefore we do not get the command file created and we don't see that on the target machine. But if we look into the Ansible documentation for how to execute shell commands and in general, we actually find that it is best practice to use the command module whenever you can. So if you have to create a directory like mk dir um, some dir, it will be recommended to make use of the command module because it is more secure and more predictable in many cases. And we will see later in, later in this video why that is. Now let's take a closer look at the shell module and see how we can execute a shell command with arguments, environment variables and a loop. So I will create a task named an example of how to use the shell module. We will execute a shell command which will echo out hello world and we will output that into a file but the file name will be specified as an environment variable. So we will call this target inf. We will provide our arguments by writing arcs and the only argument which we will have here is the argument for the directory in which we want to execute our playbook in. So that will be the sum directory. We will then specify the environment variables by writing environment and we specify the name which we used in the shell command. So here we could write anything, but we would like to make use of a loop. So therefore we want the target environment variable to be every single item of the loop. So down here we will create the loop and we will, it will hold two items, file one and file two. 
and those two files will be parsed in as the environment variable and the environment variable will then be used in the shell command which means that the shell command will be run twice so let's try this out and see what happens we see that we are running successfully against the environment so if we take a look into the machines we find that we have two files on each machine called file 1 and file 2 and if we look into those files we get hello world printed as expected Now let's take a closer look at why the command module is recommended as best practice rather than the shell module for simple scenarios. And that is because of something called shell injection which you can experience. And let's take a look at what that is. So I will create a variable called message and this message will say hello world I am a message. I will then create a task with the name this is a simple shell command and we will then execute the shell command which will echo out the message and store that in a file in some directory and the file will be called test file let's run this playbook and see what happens Let's take a look inside the virtual machines and in here we see that we have the test file and if we do a less command on that to see what's inside we find that it states hello world I am a message as a string just as expected. So that's good but in this scenario I hard coded the value but in a different scenario this could be dynamically loaded from outside the playbook itself. And in that case, we are not 100% sure what is inside this message. And if a message contain a shell operator like this, we will experience what we call a shell injection. So let's try to run this playbook with the shell operators. And let's see what happens. Let's take a look inside the machines and do a less on test file. And as you can see, this is empty. We do not have any string message in here. And that's a mistake. But the thing is that we experienced shell injection, which puts this message in here and is not read, read as a string anymore. But this is an actual shell command. The way we escape this is by piping quote which will quote the message and not read the shell operators and execute them as a shell command. So let's see if you run this. Let's take a look inside. And if we do a less on the test file, we now see that we are back to normal and we have the string message. That's it for the shell module in Ansible. Thank you very much for watching and if you like the content please hit the like button below and if you have any questions about the playbooks at all leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to see more videos like this on other modules in Ansible consider hitting the subscribe button and I will then see you in a future video. Thank you very much for watching.